little donkeys, you know that Wyoming will be your new home. Life on the Red Horse Ranch. <laughs> Here we are at the Red Horse Ranch. Alabam, foreman of the ranch, Tex Owens, Arizona, and all the rest of the outfit are down in the bunkhouse, resting from a hard day in the saddle. Sam Carter, owner of the Red Horse, has announced that his daughter, Rose Carter, will soon be home from school in the east, and the boys are all mighty happy. As we join them, they're singing one of their favorite songs of the open range. Add a ugly brew from the kettle, you press along to the big corral. He ought to be branded on his new Press along to the big corral Press along, press along, cowboy Press along, press along with a cowboy yell Press along, press along with a noise Big noise, press along to the big corral Press along, press along, cowboy Press along, press along with a cowboy yell Press along, press along with a noise Big noise, press along to the big corral Boys? I don't recollect ever hearing you sing that song better. What's got into you, anyhow? I reckon you know that already, Alabama. It's going to be like old times here on the Red Horse Ranch before long. <laughs> sure, I know, Bob, and so do all the boys. It seems like the sun went plumb out when Rose went off back east to school, yeah. <laughs> and now she's coming home. Yes, sir. Well, when's she getting back, Alabama? Sometime at the end of this week, I hear. Well, she couldn't get here any too quick to suit me. Well, I hope you don't count on shining up to Rose when she gets back, Arizona. <laughs> oh, no, it ain't that. I just figure her dad will get off his high horse once she's around again. Don't seem like we do nothing right for him around this ranch no more. He sure laid it into me and Tenderfoot this evening when we come in. Was Dad riding you again, Tenderfoot? Uh, well, yes. He seemed to think Arizona and I should have finished up fixing that south fence today. Yeah. It sure don't do you no good to run foul of Dad Carter these days. Well, Dad Carter's all right, Arizona. Like as not, if it had been some other rancher, we'd all be riding the chuck lines right now. <laughs> yeah. Dad sure had a heap of trouble since Rose left. Lost half his herd last winter. Why, we won't be able to round up enough cattle to mow and pay the interest on his loan on this ranch. Oh, we ain't got nothing to holler about. Sight of Dad Carter, believe me. <laughs> sure we ain't. But, but that ain't no talk for right now, anyhow, with Rose coming home. Uh, let's have some more music in you sure. cowpokes. Oh, what'll it be, Alabama? <laughs> well, if that jug of yours is empty, it, you might toot us something on that. Uh, get your fiddle, Tenderfoot. I got it. Montana, yep. land into that squeeze box, boy. And Arizona, yeah. grab your banjo and forget your yeah. troubles. Let's go yeah. now. <laughs> I 
I tell you, Arizona, if you worked half as hard as you play that fool banjo, the big boss wouldn't have no trouble with you. Oh, shucks. The only place I saw you today was down there in the corral talking to that bronc of yours. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Miss Rose will be plenty jealous of that horse when she gets back, the way you've been making up to it. <laughs> oh, hang it, Bob. Can't a fella train a horse without getting joked about it all the time? Well, if you call training a horse to sit on the fence and talk to it like you would a two-year-old kid, I'll trade my jackknife for a billy goat. <laughs> well, I'm going to show you boys something one of these days. Alabama, well, I told you when you brought that cayuse in off the range, and I'm saying it again. What? No man's ever going to ride him. I can tell a wild horse when I see one. I'll ride him when the time comes, and you can place your bets where you like. All I ask you is that you keep your hands off of him. You don't need to tell me that. I don't hanker for that bronc to hand me no souvenirs. <laughs> <laughs> something tickling your ribs, Tex? <laughs> well, I just thought if you'd tell us when you was going to ride that roan, we could send Tenderfoot to town to get some more liniment. <laughs> Well, you boys can do your laughing now, but someday you're going to find out. Better sing something for Alabama Tech, just to calm him down a little. Why, oh. sure. Well, I'll see just what I can do for him. Hey, shut that door. Was you raised in a barn? Uh, 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 good evening, Mr. Carter. Oh, well, boy. well, Arizona, I figured you and Tenderfoot be in your bunks for this time. You're fit getting up bright and early to fix that fence. Uh, 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 come on in, Mr. Carter, and sit with us for a spell. We were just having a little music before hitting the hay. Yeah. Was that you were strumming on the guitar, Tex? <laughs> Might as well admit it, Mr. Carter. We're all feeling mighty good. Hearing that Rose is going to be back with us on the Red Horse Ranch. Yes, Rose is coming home to her old dad. I don't know how I ever got along without her. Uh, go ahead, Tex. Uh, that's what I come down here for, to hear you boys sing. All right, I'll sing this one for you. you an extra month's pay for that. Uh, I would, too, if I knew the word is coming from. Oh, old Tex eats enough to earn his pay, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's going to be like old times with the rules back. Yes, sir. And now, which one of you will volunteer to drive in the buckboard after when she comes? I don't <laughs> see it. <laughs> oh, wait, now. Now, sounds like we're going to have to draw straws or something. You can't all go. Well, it seems to me the foreman's the man that ought to do that, oh, Dad. Yes, no, 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 no. Wait a minute. You're taking an unfair advantage of the boys there, Alabama. I'll tell you, we'll make a little sport of this. We'll have a horse race to decide who'll go in after all. Well, that's fair enough. That sounds good. Alabama? There's a chance for you to show us you can ride that roan out there. Yeah. No, I figure there's still plenty of life in old Ben. That roan's not ready to be rode yet. Well, the race is all won, far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Me and Tiger will kick plenty of dust in your faces. Yeah. Way back. Well, then it's all set. We lay off tomorrow morning... And the man that wins gets to drive in after Rose when she comes. Yeah, right. oh, old Ben will show you boys some speed. Say, my pit will run circles around you fellas. Oh, well, what's that, Tenderfoot? You and Arizona are going to be down there fixing that south fence tomorrow morning. Oh, uh, um, now, Mr. Carter, Tenderfoot should have a chance with the rest of us. No. He's doing what I said. Him and Arizona both. But as long as the rest of us are laying off... Oh, well, that's all right, Alabama. I don't reckon Rose would care about me coming after <laughs> Sure she wouldn't. Well, now, uh, let's uh, let's all you fellas sing a song. Uh, right. Give me a right lively one. You always did like hand me down my walking cane, didn't you, boss? Yes, the way you boys sing it. <laughs> Start him off, Montana. Hand me down my walking cane. Hand me down my walking cane. Hand me down my walking cane. 
Oh, hand me down my walk of pain. I'm gonna leave on the midnight train, cause all my sins are taken away. I got drunk and got in jail. <laughs> I got drunk and got in jail. Oh, I got drunk and got in jail. I had no one to go my bail. All my sins were taken away. Yeah. Hand me down my walking cane. Hand me down my walking cane. Oh, hand me down my walking cane. I'm going to leave on the cane. All my sins are taken. Hand me down my walking cane. Thank you. Well, I'll be getting on back up to the house. It ain't gonna be lonely up there much longer. Well, we'll see you in the morning, Mr. Carter. Yes, have your ponies ready. Yeah, it's right. gonna be quite a race. Uh, good night, boys. Good, good night, night, Mr. Carter. Good night. Oh, uh, before I go, boys, yes, uh, I want to ask you one thing. Uh, when Rose gets back, uh, don't say nothing to her about uh, about the trouble, will you? Of course oh, we won't, boy. Mr. Carter. Yeah, I don't want nothing to worry her. Well, good night. <laughs> good night, good night, good night Carter. Dad sure is game. He looked mighty worried to me, though, Alabama. Boys, Dad Carter has got a hard pull ahead of him if he counts on keeping the Red Horse Ranch. Well, folks, we're going to hear a lot about these boys on the Red Horse Ranch. But what about old Sam Carter? Is there really danger that he and his band of cowboys will have to leave the Red Horse Ranch? Be sure to listen. Listen.